Hello, 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 and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm Eva Greenbottle, and we are starting off this week with a bit of rain, which is fine, actually, because that means we don't have to water any of our crops, so I guess that's just a job done, right? We can kind of move around and get some stuff done on the farm. Look, we got our very first blue jazz there, which is great. And we'll go check on our chickens. Of course, they can't go outside because it's raining, but they are doing great. We'll just close that door so they don't get any splash, you know? Not that they do get any splash, but there we go. Say hello to Pumpkin. They've got half a heart of friendship so far, so that's going. But they look really happy, and that's nice. Now, when it's rainy, it's important to do your fishing because there's certain fish that can only appear in the rain. However, I sort of forgot that. Actually, we're not looking for any fish in the lake that are in the rain. What I really need to be doing right now is probably fishing in the river. But here we are. All right, fish, where are you? Come on. Thank you. Let's go, fish. And what are the chances it's going to be another smallmouth bass? Let's see. Oh, yep, classic. You know, at least maybe we can make a little bit of money selling these fish today because, of course, we've only got just over a grand and we have some lofty goals and we're going to need a lot of money to sort that out. So we're going to need money to buy some fruit trees. We need to get those barns put in because of course we are going to need a barn for a cow we're going to need to buy some more farm animals which is not cheap none of those things are very cheap so lots of things we need to upgrade our house just like there's so much things to do our tools need to be upgraded there are tons of things that we're going to need lots of money for and we need to get a silo now the silo costs clay we need 10 clay we have everything else already though which is pretty amazing but we need one more clay now we can often find clay from just digging there we go we found one already so let's see if we can just get up to 10 by just digging out in front of Robin's house. Because there's, you know, sometimes when you randomly use your, oh, you get clay. So that's the goal here. Let's see what we can get. This is using up my energy a lot faster than I intended it to. I thought this would be a little bit faster. Um, and yes, I did make an E. There, EV. All right, come on. I just need a piece of clay. What do we need? Just one more then, right? One more, one more piece of clay and we will be sorted and we are starting to feel exhausted and we literally just needed one more plus it's too late anyway she's not going to be working so we'll go to bed try again tomorrow i guess but we did level up our fishing to level two which means we can now craft bait not that we can use bait because we don't have an upgraded fishing rod yet but we'll get one at some point all right moving on to tuesday the spirits are good everything is happy Got a parsnip and we're going to hoe a bit more because I'm still looking for that last piece of clay. I'm determined to get that silo put in. With those rainy days, we have to feed our chickens. And if I don't have any hay, if I don't have a silo, I can't just harvest my own hay. I'd have to buy it from Marty, which would be very annoying, actually. So we definitely need to get this in before we have too many more rainy days. But I am not having any luck whatsoever when it comes to finding clay. Where is it? I mean, come on. I don't have any spare in here. But I am going to need to use this hay to feed the chickens because, of course, yesterday was a rainy day, so they didn't go outside. And it's kind of fine. We have a few pieces. But if you don't get that silo in, we're not going to be able to get any more, and I don't want to have to buy it. But there we go. They're all fed up. Everybody's happy. Hello, pumpkin. Hello, squash. All right, let's head down to the beach because the beach sometimes has the wiggly worms, and then you can grab those for clay, but not this time, apparently. No luck, but let's just... We'll just clear it a bit of space. Look how tired I am already. This is... This is very exhausting work. Hello, Willy. Have a lovely day. Does he not open his shop on Tuesdays? Is that always the case? All right, this isn't working. Where is it? Somewhere there's going to be a wiggly worm that we can just get. Or actually, can we buy clay from Robin? She's not even here. Okay, so never mind. Somebody wants help. Slay four slimes. We can slay four slimes. Although, actually, we can't today. I am completely exhausted, but let's make sure we actually accept that quest, not just walk away. Four green slimes. That's not a problem at all. We just need to go into the mines. But luckily, we've got two days to accept the quest or complete the quest, so we can just do that. Now I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, we leveled up our foraging as well. So now we can make a charcoal kiln. I don't think I've ever really used a charcoal kiln, but made a little bit of money selling a few crops. Not a lot, though. Money is coming in super slowly. Oh, my goodness. But look who's here. It's Marnie, and she is bringing our new pet cat. Now, I always... Stray animals, it doesn't matter where the stray animal is. I call them pickles. I was once in Iceland, and there was this dog that was just sort of wandering around, and I decided to call him pickles. I don't know, it was someone's pet dog, probably, but... 
any sort of stray animals. I always call them Pickles. I think it's such a cute little name. So this is Pickles the cat and I love him. Right, our rice is ready, so that's good. Now, I don't think we need this rice or anything. Of course, if we had the mill, it'd be worth more. So might keep some of it, but probably we'll sell some of it also because we just need the money. Now, Siggy, we do need a silo. However, I've not actually cleared a space to put the silo. I usually like to have thing buildings like out of the way, especially silos, because it's like not a building you need to go to very often. So I'm going to tuck it back in this corner, but we do need to clear a space for it. So this will be the perfect spot for our silo. Now that we have the clay and we can build the silo, we'll put it back here. Now we just have to wait and hope that Robin is working today. But I think she is. It's just Tuesday she goes to that workout class, I think. So all the women of Stardew Valley are missing because they're all in their aerobics class. All right, let's clear out this extra stuff from the inventory. And I'm basically hoarding everything we don't need. That's an, one extra piece of clay. All right, Robin, be home because I want this silo. It's been days. It's been days. Yes. Okay, we've got everything we need and she's here. So we can place it in the spot we cleared out. Perfect. Just need to kill four slimes. That doesn't seem too bad, except our inventory is quite full. Probably should go drop this stuff off, but yeah, no. It's just four slimes. We can just get four slimes, right? I mean, there's one, so that's good. And I can see, what, two, three there. I love how it counts on the side. There's like a little tracker for your quests. It's so good. This is what you needed the whole time. Before, you used to just look up the number all the time to see how many you were at, but not anymore. Although, I think I can keep track of four, but... No, I've been surprised before by my lack of ability to keep track of things. All right, definitely want to get all the copper. You always need it, right? All right, here's number two, and then there's number three. And then we'll have to go down one more floor, I suppose. Hopefully find number four, and then turn the quest into someone. Oh, there's also a couple of these crabby guys. Excuse me, rock crabs. Right, this sword is driving me nuts because everything is so difficult to kill. I mean, these bugs are fine, just one hit. But everything else, it just feels like it takes forever. I miss my galaxy sword. Right, so in this, there's now levels. So you can actually see like your house level and also your mining level. So it's like the deepest part you've ever gotten to. So we're on 12 right now, which is actually the furthest down we've ever been, but that's cool. A new thing that's been added. All right, slime, are you in here? Of course, there's no slime in here. All we need is slime, so there's no slime in here. Our inventory is full, this is very annoying. I don't know why I didn't drop off these tools. I even thought about it and I was like, oh, I should drop off these tools. And then I didn't. I was like, no, no, we're fine. I'm not gonna get that much stuff. Ugh, so annoying. Do you know what? Getting a bit tired. Let's just eat this leek so we can f put more stuff in. Although this earth crystal, I think I'd rather have that. But what do I get rid of? The algae, I guess. Not ideal. If we find anything else that's good, I'm going to be a little annoyed. Right, here's our last slime though. And then we can complete this quest. And then I guess we could probably go and turn the quest in. We need to turn it in. Oh, here we go. Mayor Lewis, perfect. We did help with the slime problem. And now other people can go spelunking much easier. All right, let's build another chest. So we've been getting our eggs, of course, from our chickens, though I think, and I talked about this last episode, we need to save these for mayo. It would be way better if we were turning these into mayo. We'll get the mayo machine soon-ish, and then mayo is just worth so much more than eggs. I guess we can head back into the mines for a little bit. It would be good to get some more resources and get a fit further into the cave. All right, in the cave. I hate these bugs. They are so annoying in early days, especially before you have any sort of sword upgrade. And then these guys as well, like these little bugs, if they end up like turning into the teal cocoon things and then eventually turning into the bugs that fly and get you. But happy to take the bug meat and happy to get them done so that we can start completing adventure guild things. I would say caving is one of my favorite things to do in Stardew Valley. I mean, to be fair, I like everything about Stardew Valley, but I really love caving and exploring and gathering new resources. I mean, I just, I find it really satisfying to have my pockets full of new stuff that I get to take home and dump into my chest. But you may have noticed I am a little bit of a hoarder. Uh, that doesn't, that doesn't ever get any better. It only gets worse as the game goes on when there's more things to start hoarding. Oh, look, we got some rice shoots. That's good. Okay, just about running out of energy here. So we're gonna need to dash home. Oh no, but my inventory is too full. What are we gonna get rid of? Oh, the sap. Yeah, topaz over sap any day. Sap is always the first thing people get rid of, I think. Oh no, now a geode. I don't really want to get rid of the slime, but I think a geode is better because we want to finish that museum up and get a bit further. At least get like, what is it, 40 things you have to get and then you get the key to the sewers. I'd like to go meet Krobus. I like Krobus. I think we might ask him to be our roommate in this playthrough. I've never actually done that. I've wanted to do it in the past, but never got as far as doing that. Uh, let me know in the comment section, who do you marry? Who do you romance in this game? 
Or is it Krobus? Maybe you don't maybe you don't uh, romance anybody, you just get Krobus and bring him home with you. That's also good. A end of the day, and we've leveled up our farming, which means we can get the basic sprinklers, but more importantly now, the mayonnaise machine. So I'm very excited about that and a bit of combat. Okay, did we make any money today? No, a lot, a little bit, a little bit. All right, heading in to day 11. Okay, not too much on the farm. A few of our parsnips are ready. Now we need gold parsnips. That's what we need. We need five gold parsnips for the community center. We're not getting those at the moment, but... Parsnips, some green beans. Uh-oh, Robin has lost her favorite axe. Luckily, I know where that is, so we can go get her axe today, hopefully. But I need to craft my mayonnaise machine because we are going to be turning all of our eggs from now on into mayonnaise to make a bit more money because it is more profitable to sell mayonnaise over eggs. And we need to make money because we have lofty goals, like we mentioned. So let's pop the first one in and then we're gonna go get Robin's axe way down here now if you don't know where robin's axe is probably this is spoilers and you should look away um so yeah look away look away don't look back in town we're gonna need some more parsnip seeds but i really want to get this backpack so let's spend our money on getting this backpack and now oh inventory space yes a whole second row the next upgrade is way too expensive though so it's gonna be a little while before we get that third row done but let's grab some parsnip seeds because we need to get that gold parsnip happening and get us a couple of potato seeds to top us up there because you do make the most money from those and now we only have 45 gold Ugh, not so great right we got a uh, starfish to drop off and now let's just have a little bit of a wander oh and of course I immediately find a spoon so i guess we'll go straight back to the museum and drop off the rusty spoon which doesn't seem like something you'd want to have in a museum it doesn't seem like fancy enough really to have in a museum but i don't know maybe it's a really fancy rusty spoon maybe somebody can clean it up and make it look nice although it doesn't look particularly exciting Ooh, a new reward what did we get a chicken statue oh that's nice i don't really have a place to put it right now though so we're just gonna leave it there let's go drop off our crab pot bundle here excellent a little bit closer and of course we also have a green bean now so we're just mating on our cauliflower so just a few more days i think and then those will be actually this should be ready quite soon right the cauliflower we should be really really close on that right artisan bundles there's still a lot of things in here to get and i think it's going to be quite tricky to get the fruits are tricky which is often why for the cave i go with the fruit bats but i don't know if i want to go with the fruit bats i really want to get the mushroom cave i just prefer it you can make a lot more money with the mushroom cave, I think. And my last major playthrough, I did the fruit bats, which is helpful for the community center in year one, but I don't know. I, I just, I really want the mushroom cave. Although there's the new mushroom logs in this game. So it probably does make more sense to get the fruit bats, but I don't know. Uh, Robin, I've got your ax, but Robin is nowhere to be found. Where does Robin go on a Thursday? I have no idea. Let's make some more mayonnaise. Right, our very first mayonnaise though. We can sell that and hopefully make some money. Now we don't, yeah, there's no mayonnaise in the bundles, right? So we don't need to hold on to it. Yeah, it's not in the animal bundle or the artisan bundle. So yeah, pure profit, I guess. Right, some more copper bar. That's good. We need to collect lots of those because it'd be nice to upgrade our tools fairly soon and like get some of those, but we have to get money. And 45 gold is not going to cut it at the moment. Let's get these potatoes in the ground. And okay, these are the first set of parsnips, but I think we're going to want to put more in. If I clear out this area here, is that going to be close enough to my scarecrow? I actually don't know right second thoughts move it over here so it is closer to the scarecrow and yeah it does look a bit ugly because now this is connected to that but uh oh, it's fine it's fine let's just make a bit of the fertilizer just basic fertilizer just enough for the parsnips because i think the rest it doesn't really matter but we need to get five gold parsnips and of course if we don't do it then we don't get to get to a community center in first year which would be honestly devastating so let's uh just get that in and we'll get these watered and we're ready to go now, I still have more parsnip seeds, but we're just going to plop them in the chest for now. I think we will just wait. I do, If I do too much, then we're going to spend all of our energy watering our crops each day, and I'm going to be uh, quite annoyed. Right, we don't need the mayonnaise. I just feel like, I really feel like we do need the mayonnaise for the community center, but we don't. We don't. We, we double checked. We don't. All right, let's make sure Pickles has water, because we need to be his best friend, because in this update, you can have more than one pet. If you max friendship with your current pet, you can get another one. Now, I think it's quite expensive to do so, but... Wouldn't that be so cute? All right, as another successful day, made quite a bit of money. That mayonnaise is great. Two regular mayonnaise. Oh, yeah, 190 gold pieces from those. I mean, that is way better than an egg. Because what was an egg? Like 65 gold or something? No, mayonnaise is where it's at. 
All right. Oh, the egg festival's in town tomorrow. Okay. I'm gonna crush some children in an egg hunt competition. I always feel like a little bit bad about that because obviously, I don't know. I just feel like we are a grown up. We should be competing with other grown ups. And then instead of we go against the children and it just feels a bit bad. Now, I always feel like on a rainy day, I need to plant more seeds because I don't have to water them. But then I always like think I do it and then it's like, okay, that's really annoying because now I have to, uh, now I have to water them on days that it's not raining. That's right. For today, we're good. Let's go see if we can give Robin back her ax. And for some reason, it's only 8 a.m. Robin doesn't open for another hour. So I guess let's just go over here. We have a fishing rod. It's a rainy day. Let's do some fishing. Although, do I need any fish out of this area? I'm actually not sure that I do. Oh, the largemouth bass, I suppose, we need out of this, the mountain lake. Uh, we need that for the community center. But I think the other thing we need is the eel, which is a rainy day in the ocean. And the carp. Oh, actually, no, don't we get the carp in this lake? Yeah, we need a carp as well. So carp and largemouth bass, both of those would be good to get in here. Oh, the other thing we need is a catfish out of the river in the rain. And I think that is spring or fall, so we'll need to do that soon. But Robin's back in. Let's give her her axe. There we go and make some money off of that 250 just for that little delivery. Not so bad. And we got the bullhead, which we can put in here. And we've got our brown large egg. And now we do need to do some river fishing. So this is where we're going to find the catfish, possibly in the rain, in the river. But I don't think this is a catfish. Catfish, I think, if I remember correctly, they're quite hard to catch. This one is not seeming to be that hard. And I'm looking forward to seeing what we get for treasure. Oh, it's more coal. Okay, eh, it's very classic. I uh, decided to come down and try the bridge fishing. I like this. It's, I feel like this is a good spot. And I always feel like the catfish is down here for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, we almost got this fish. What do we got? And another smallmouth bass. That seems to be all we can ever fish out of the, like, anywhere. Just smallmouth basses for days. And they're not even worth that much. So it's not even like you make a ton of money. Let's come down here. I don't know why. This dark area. Maybe that's where we get catfish. Mm, catfish, come on. It'd be really nice to upgrade our fishing rod. I don't know how expensive that is. If we upgraded our fishing rod, we could get bait. And then the fish bite more frequently, which would be nice. Because sometimes we're just having to wait for ages to get a, a catch. This is not a catfish. Surprise, surprise. It's another smallmouth bass. And by surprise, surprise, I mean, I'm not surprised at all. Okay, what's this one good? Ooh, ooh, this one's wiggly. Okay, this could be it. This could be a catfish, maybe. It is moving around as long as we can keep it here. No, no, no. Oh, no, it's getting out of control. It's getting out of control. Okay, we got this. We got this. We don't got this. Oh, no. Come on. No, 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 no. You silly fish. No. Why does it decrease so quickly? This is a disaster. Oh, that is very frustrating. And oh, a bit of driftwood. And we still don't have our recycler, so all of the pieces of junk, we can't currently do anything with them. I do like to get the recycler because then you just get like free resources, basically. All right, this is not a catfish, so we can risk getting the treasure. This guy should be fine. It's probably another smallmouth bass, let's be honest. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh, but we got an achievement. Fisherman, that's nice. Oh, okay. And we got our shad. Okay, another fish. What is it going to be? And of course, it's another smallmouth bass. All right, come on. This could be something different. Oh. Yes, okay, this is a catfish. Don't worry about the treasure. And we lost it immediately. Well, fine. But at least we did get a shad, because that's what we did need. I completely forgot that we needed that for the river fish, which is good. Still didn't get that catfish, though, which is a bit annoying. But we've got a lot of energy, and I'm really tired of fishing. So let's come back and get some trees. We're going to need a lot more wood, because we used up quite a bit of it just to make like that mayonnaise machine, I think. And we're gonna need like the tree tapper things and those all cost wood and eventually you need like the kegs and of course we want to do a barn upgrade and a house upgrade and all those things cost wood you just end up needing so much so on rainy days if you don't go mining it's nice to just get some farm work down here and collect some wood wander around get as many trees as you can because it is very exhausting work especially before you have an axe upgrade i actually think our first upgrade might be the axe what do you normally upgrade first? I feel like between the axe and the pickaxe, because the pickaxe is really nice when you can get resources faster. But early game, you can start getting hardwood if you get your axe done. So you can't like, you can't cut down with the up axe upgrade, the copper one. You can't get the um, big logs that have fallen over, but you can get the stumps to get some hardwood. Which means you can't actually get into the secret woods then. But we're getting close, and I feel like upgrades are in our nearish future-ish. Nearish. We need money. That's the main thing. All right, I am now exhausted. Let's just get this stump and go to bed. Ax, 
actually, instead of just getting this stuff and going to bed, let's go fix the bridge up because it's a rainy day and you get way more coral. Aha, see? Look at that. You get way more coral on rainy days, I believe. So that's going to be pretty good for money. You can also make fertilizers with the corals, I believe. Yeah, we're definitely going to want those. And I think we're now just the money making because that's going to be really good. It is getting a bit late and we are 100% out of energy. So let's go to bed now. And a, whoa, a very successful day. Look at all that money we've made. I mean, some from the fish, of course, some from some just other stuff selling some algae, but we sold some carrots and look at all of that foraging money rolling in. Carrots and mayonnaise, yes, and the foraging. Ah, the coral, of course, ah, has made us a good amount of money. We are rolling in it now. All right, it's the last day of the week. Oh, and Hat Mouse is selling hats now. It's the last day of the week. We've got some money. Let's head into town because it's burning a hole in my pocket. Uh oh, today's festival is being set up. Come back later. Oh. All right. Well, I guess I'll come back later then. And we'll just go home and we can get a few more chores. Are you kidding? The egg festival has begun in the town square. Really? Okay. Well, I guess we'll go to the egg festival in the town square then. All I really wanted to do was take my cauliflower and my egg up to the community center. Possibly spend some money. Ooh, but you know what? We could spend some money. Could buy some strawberry seeds. But these seeds, they continue to produce and it's already partway through the season? Like, what, what day is it today? It's the 14th, isn't it? By the time we put those in the ground, would it even produce any strawberries in time? I don't know. Let's buy some, because if we get our greenhouse built, we could put them in the greenhouse and then have strawberries coming in. Or save them for next year, I guess. Because if you don't buy them now, you don't get another chance to buy them, right? Right. Make sure we talk to everyone. Make sure we put our face in the hole. Uh, it's very hard to line up, though. And we'll just talk to everyone and then start the egg hunt. I'm going to crush it. These children don't stand a chance. <laughs> I mean, look at how excited Vincent and Jazz are. And I don't know. It feels a bit weird. But I guess this goes to show that, like, Abigail, Maru, and Sam are, like, the youngest of the bachelors slash bachelorettes. I have like a standard route that I use when going for the egg festival. And I don't think any of the like spots have changed. I was worried that some things would be different in the update, but I think it's the same. So I think we're good. I feel confident that we can win the egg hunt. Super confident, probably overconfident. No, just kidding. Look, look, Sam's just walking past all the eggs. I'm going to yeah, scoop that up. You can't even not a chance there, buddy. Grab that one. Let's see. What is he even doing? What's Jazz even doing? They're just, they're just, what are they even looking for? Uh, a bit stuck. I feel like I made it way further today than I normally make it in my like little route. Have things changed actually about this? I actually have no idea. Look at all the eggs. Now if only get your kids pick up litter this efficiently. <laughs> Aren't you so funny? But the winner of this year's egg hunt is... <gasps> Evie. Yes, I knew it. Yes, are we gonna get our straw hat? Yes, of course we're gonna get our straw hat. Oh, I love it. Now I'm a proper farmer, you know, if I have a straw hat. All right, straight to bed because we got our chores done. Oh no, it's only day 13 today. Why did I think it was day 14? All right, but we made a bit of money. I sold one mayonnaise, but it was a nice like starred mayonnaise because you can actually get that now. That's new. You weren't able to get starred mayonnaise before. They were just regular mayonnaise all the time. Oh, our dad has sent us 500 gold. That's so nice. All right, some green beans. And I, oh, I still want to drop off the cauliflower and the egg. But it is the end of the week. It's Sunday. And that means the wandering trader is here. So we need to see. <gasps> Are you kidding? The red cabbage. <gasps> we have to buy the red cabbage. The red cabbage. This is the thing that you can't get for the community center in year one, except for in this way. And I have been burned before by it not being in here. So I'm very really excited. But I'm wondering about these ancient seeds. Do I get ancient seeds? When do you normally plant these? No, do you get them for free later on? I can't remember. I think I'm just gonna leave it. Although I may regret that later. The thing is, our money is so precious and I just spent like, what, a thousand gold pieces on a red cabbage? Which seems insane because it's literally just a cabbage. But now, we could actually finish the community center in year one. And because I've been barren before by either missing the day that it was there or something else. Now, I was thinking, do we want to buy another brown chicken? If I get another chicken, then we could get more eggs per day. Although, hey, if I get, no. 
Hold on. I think don't get the brown chicken because if we could upgrade our barn first instead, then we could have an incubator. Is that better? I don't know. Drop off this cauliflower though. There's a lot to think about. Up oh, some speed grow. Okay, maybe we'll use that next season. And the other thing we needed was the egg. There we go. So that's not too bad. We just need three of these things. So but finishing a bundle, which means, ooh, something else is going to open up. Furnace room would give us the mine carts. Yes, it is the furnace room. Okay, so the furnace room gives us the mine carts. Let's see what's in here. Oh, those actually don't sound too hard. Yeah, I think this is usually a fairly easy one to do, but we have to get quite low into the mines. But we do want to do that. So I guess we need to just keep pushing the mines and we've got some time today. Although I feel like I've made a real choice because why did I not go empty my inventory? Doesn't matter, I came straight up here. I got too excited. We want to make some progress in the mines. We just need to get as low as we can so we can start grabbing all the resources that we need and then get the mine cards. Because the mine cards are going to make our lives infinitely better. Although it is going to take a while because typically you can only move like down like about five levels a day if you're doing the like, proper exploring. Especially without bombs to like find the staircases faster. And also I don't think I checked my luck today so I have no idea if today's a good day to be trying to do caving or not. But at least we have the bigger inventory now so we can probably cave for a bit longer. Ah, we need one of these, but red. And yes, red quartz, right? That Oh no, fire quartz, that's what it's called. We need a fire quartz. I think that's the hardest thing to get out of all the things for the, to unlock the mine carts. Nice, I love when you find this big pile of coal because sometimes you just, coal can be hard to come by. Although in uh, the 1.6 update, I believe there's now coal like veins that you can find. So if you choose like the um, the farm layout that has like the ores on it, I think you can get coal veins there. And I think if we unlock the quarry, we can also find coal over there as well. All right, where's my staircase down? There we go. Oh, nice. And coming straight down into an amethyst. This is my least favorite cave layout, the spiral one. It's so annoying trying to get to the middle, but of course there are all like the crates in the middle. So you can get some really good things in there. But to me, it's just like, it's not worth it. It's such a hassle to go all the way around. I very, very rarely actually go all the way around to get to the center. I usually just bail as soon as we can. Ooh. Oh, a crab, this is good. That's gonna put us much closer to getting the crab pot bundle done. And that would be really good because then we could actually get crab pots, which would be just kind of money all the time. Yes, okay, good. Our energy is going down a lot faster than I'd like it to. We just need to find one ladder down and then we'd unlock level 20 and then we'd have the elevator. So come on staircase, no staircase. Come on staircase, where could you be? Or ladder, is, is it a stat staircase or a ladder? It's a ladder, right? You can add the stairs in. That's like the thing you can craft. Kill these bugs before they transform into those annoying fly things. Ooh, a rice shoot, I'll take that, that's nice. And there we go, ooh, and a treasure chest. <gasps> Yay, a steel small sword, excellent. Okay, that's gonna be more damage than our current sword for sure. So yeah, let's swap those out. We also need to build another chest. This is gonna be for quest items. I like to have that. So it's like, if it needs to go to the museum or it needs to go to the community center, or it just needs to go to somebody. I like to keep it all together. It's just really handy. But we've made it to the end of the level, end of our second week here. We've leveled up our foraging, which is great. We could make, is that moss soup? Oh, we haven't, have we had moss yet? Ooh, that's interesting. We can make some moss soup. That could be cool. And there we go. There's the staircase as I was talking about. We are, oh, we're not really rolling in the money today though, unfortunately, but end of our second week. Oh man, that is going so well. If you're enjoying the Stardew Valley videos, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.